Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So I don't believe in kicking a guy when he's down. It's just not part of my philosophy, but I sure will kick an FNS when they're they're down. <laughs> Look at this. Jezebel, the FNS website that punctures the patriarchy shut down. Yes, you heard it, guys. One of the most infamous FNS websites and blogs is now going down the toilet. So we're gonna get into this, but before we do, like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps keep this channel going. Uh, check out the lives, guys, and check out my second channel linked in the description. Jezebel, the sassy FNS web website that launched from the rib of Gawker is shutting down, citing economic headwinds rattling the industry. Uh, so the parent company said that on Thursday it would suspend the publication of Jezebel after it failed to find a buyer during tough economic slog for digital publishers. Now, sidebar, as we are in a recession, I don't care what anyone says. Yes, certain people that are charged don't want to use, use the word, but the economy is not doing so well right now. And we all know how broke a lot of these modern women are. <laughs> Between student loans and credit card debt and all of this other stuff. So did they really think that they could cater to a group of people where in times of economic hardship can't spend any money? <laughs> did it? Because we all know that when times get tough, you know, traditional gen gender roles do start to come back. And I don't think that there's a lot of these broke chicks that are trying to read about this sassy effing stuff. Right, guys? Look at that. This decision will impact 23 employees, including the entire Jezebel staff and the GO Media Editorial Director, Mel Brown. Launched in 2007 by writer Anna Holmes. So Jezebel became a must-read for a young generation of third-wave effinists laboring amid a very much intact patriarchy clown world. Guys, we all know that this is bullshit. This is BS. So the New York Centric site offered a bold and caustic a critique of traditional women's magazines with their male gaze-centered focus on impossible ideals of beauty. Sidebar, funny guys, isn't that funny how a lot of those magazines are still around? But this knuckleheaded site's going out of business, right, guys? <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. In an email to the company's employees on Thursday, Jim Spanfiller, media executive officer, said that the decision to shutter the site came after, after discussions with other two potential buyers. So this isn't even get woke, go broke. This is, this is be woke and you die. Right? That's basically how it works. Spanfeller uh, characterized this decision as excruciating and very, very difficult and praised the Jezebel team. They've had many successes over the past year. Come on, guys. Apparently not. And continued to do great work in difficult times. They've worked to meet and exceed the audience's needs in an incredibly important time for the core topics of the site. This urgent breakthrough coverage of reproductive rights in the post row era, as well as other key issues core to modern women, affirmed the brand's story legacy. That is true. Cook with me, guys. You would think that with all this foolishness and all these loud FNS and Roe and all this other stuff, that they would be need they would be even more popular. But it's proof that no one wants to read this crap. Even women don't want to read this crap. I haven't given up on Jezebel. Media is nothing if not resilient. So are its practitioners. Here's another article here. Jezebel shuts down, lays off staff, an excruciating decision. Is this not the funniest thing that you've ever heard? And what I honestly think is these women that were, this is 2007, when this site started. So let's just say that a woman's 18 or 19 who was reading this, this filth. So she's probably in her 30s. Yeah, mid to late 30s now. What happens, guys? All these chicks think, oh no, <laughs> I'm worried about having a baby and getting married. So their core target demographic is, is older and realizing that all this effing is crap is foolishness. 
man. Let me know what you guys think. Because it's funny that a lot of the, you know, all the stuff that actually caters to men, car magazines, all this other stuff, those are still going strong. <laughs> That's because guys are loyal to all the brands that we like. We're loyal. We don't root for the same football team um, since birth, right? But And then guys' publications like what? Um, Motor Trend. You know, Golf Digest. Golf Digest is doing good still. And it's the con- economy. But women don't spend money. They grow out of this stuff. And now Jezebel is doomed. All right, you guys. This is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'm out of here. Oh, and one more thing. Isn't it funny how all these uh, uh, gossip magazines and all the stuff that, that follow Kim Kardashian and stuff, those aren't going out of business, are they, guys? It's funny how that works. Kind of makes you, you know, what is that actually saying? That women care more about Kourtney Kardashian and all of that than they actually do about all this effing this crap? Are you saying that women don't actually care about politics and ethnicism? How dare you! <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm out of here for real. Have a good one.